Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, my name is Gifty. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and hit that bell so anytime we upload a new video, it comes straight to your inbox, no bend, no care. So today on Cooking with Gifty, we are making spinach stew. And I know um, Nigerians make this and they call it a goosey stew. So if you want to see how I like to make mine, let's go to the kitchen, show you our ingredients, and we'll start cooking. Okay, so for our ingredients, we have our onion, ginger, an egg, garlic um palm oil we have our spices of course and then our black pepper and salt to taste this is our melon seeds or as we call it a goosey and then we have our tomatoes we have our spinach we have pepper and we have so um adobo to taste and then we have our water that i will start off by soaking my goosey seeds in or melon seeds in so I'm going to put my um, my spinach in the microwave for about two to three minutes so we can render off the excess water from it. So guys, here goes in our oil. We'll add in our onions. Okay, so I'm going in with my onions and I'm using zumi, but you can use um, regular oil if you want, if you don't want to use the palm oil. So we'll just let it cook a little bit until it gets translucent then we'll add in our um, other stuff. I'll add in a little bit of salt to help it cook down faster. And make sure you're cooking on a nice steady heat. Okay so our onions are ready. We'll go in with our garlic and ginger next and then also a tablespoon of pepper. So we'll go in with our onion, um, our tomatoes. Then we'll let it cook for about 20 minutes. Okay, so while our tomato, our stew is cooking, we're going to blend our cloves and um, our fennel seeds. I like to get whatever seeds I can get whole. I like to get it and then grind it myself. So we're gonna go ahead and blend it. Alright guys, so I'm going to put my spices in right now. I have oregano here, I have the fennel seeds and um, cloves here that I grinded, and then I have a little bit of moringa powder. This is optional, but I want extra, you know, extra hoarding. And then we have um, turmeric here, so I'm just going to put it in right now. And then we'll cover it and let it cook for 20 minutes or until our stew is ready for our next step. Here is our melon seeds. We're gonna go ahead and put it in the blender and blend it right now with the egg. But I want to stop blending this first, and then we'll add in our egg. Add a little bit of water. Mm -hmm. Scrape, y'all. You stop. You stop your blender to scrape down everything because sometimes it doesn't um, blend all the way. So you just have to scrape everything and then we'll add in our egg and we'll blend that and we'll add it to the stew when it's ready to so our stew is practically almost ready i'm going to add in um shrimp powder that i grinded i forgot to show you that so it's shrimp that i grinded here and instead of you um using like stuck shrimp cube or stuck cube or whatever i just use this and then i'll let it cook for about five more minutes and then i'll add in my egg we'll also add in our black pepper and then our edible or salt to taste. Here's our blended seeds and egg. So right now, make sure your heat is on low and rinse it, rinse out your blender and put. make sure you put everything in. And if you don't, um, you can add um, meat or fish or whatever you want to, but today I'm just using this because it has a lot of proteins, guys. So. Sometimes you just have to give yourself a break from all the meat and all that. All right, family. So here's our stew. All right. We'll still allow it to cook a little bit. And I'm going to add in some chickpeas as well. And make sure it's on a low heat. And then we'll let it cook for like five more minutes and we'll add in our spinach. So look at our stew. Looks good, right? We'll add our spinach in. This is frozen spinach, but you can use fresh spinach. If you have it, but I've had this. So. And don't wring the water, um, all of the water out, because you don't want your stew to be dry. 
here's a skewer. So you don't, at this point, once we stir it and cover it, we'll let it cook for like maybe five to six minutes. We don't want to overcook it. We just want to, we want our spinach to still be green. Nice and colorful. Now adding a little bit of the spinach water. So this water, don't throw it out. You can freeze it and use it for your soup or for your veggie stock. Nice, here's our stew. It's ready. So you can enjoy this with your yam, your rice, your gari, kinke, whatever pleases you. Here is our spinach stew or palava sauce as we call it looking also yum and green. I like this meatless version so if you're vegan just omit the egg and you are good to go. If you like this video give me a big thumbs up and how do you like to make your palava sauce or spinach stew. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and the bell so anytime we upload a new video it comes straight to your inbox. If you have any questions or comments just leave them down below and I will get to you. You. I will also have all the ingredients down below. So if you're not following me on Instagram, make sure you do as cooking with Gifty. Until we meet again in the kitchen, remember to stay blessed, out of trouble, and be well. Bye.